I request my written testimony be admitted into the record. The NTSB investigates accidents in all modes of transportation, determines the probable cause, and issues safety recommendations to prevent future accidents. Today we'll focus on two topics, small passenger vessel safety and the importance of safety management systems, or SMS, on passenger vessels. On July 19, 2018, the World War II era amphibious passenger vessel Stretch Duck 7 sank during a storm near Branson, Missouri, resulting in 17 fatalities. We continue to investigate this accident in parallel, but separate from the U.S. Attorney's criminal investigation. We have identified two safety issues we have seen before. Ins insufficient reserve buoyancy, leaving these vessels vulnerable to rapid flooding and sinking, and impediments to passenger vessel emergency ingress, egress. We saw these same two issues 20 years ago in the 1999 sinking of the Miss Majestic, another amphibious passenger vessel that claimed 13 lives. Survivors from that accident confirmed that the vessel sank less than a minute after the deck edge submerged, leaving little opportunity for passengers to escape. Further, the vessel's canopy impeded their ability to safely egress from the vessel. We recommended at the time that the Coast Guard require greater stability and reserve buoyancy in amphibious passenger vessels. Until that was done, we urged the Coast Guard to require canopies be removed during waterborne operations or that such vessels install a Coast Guard approved canopy that does not restrict passenger escape. After the Coast Guard did not require our recommended improvements, we classified those recommend recommendations as closed, unacceptable action. Now we know that insufficient reserve buoyancy and a canopy that impeded the passenger's ability to escape served to worsen the tragic death toll when the Stretch Duck 7 sank last year. Accordingly, yesterday, the board issued two new safety recommendations. We again call on the Coast Guard to require sufficient reserve buoyancy and the removal of canopies from those amphibious vessels that do not have sufficient reserve buoyancy. These known safety issues should no longer go unaddressed or be left to voluntary compliance. On another front, late last year, we completed our investigation of the fire aboard the small passenger vessel Island Lady near Port Ritchie, Florida. One passenger died and 14 others were hospitalized. During the voyage, the captain encountered an engine alarm. Rather than shut the engine down, he left it idling, allowing it to continue to generate heat, which in turn ignited the exhaust system and surrounding structures, eventually consuming the vessel. Although federal regulations require small passenger vessels to have fire detection and suppression systems in the engine rooms, the regulations do not require such systems in un unoccupied spaces outside the engine room which is where we determine the fire started. A recommendation to the Coast Guard has been issued related to this very matter. The NTSB has long advocated to the Coast Guard that all passenger vessels should implement a safety management system, a comprehensive, documented system ensuring oversight of all vessel and shoreside operational safety aspects. An SMS is essential for enhancing safety on board passenger vessels. And the NTSB feels the Coast Guard should ensure such systems are required. In the case I just described, an SMS would likely have ensured greater adherence to completing crew training drills, ensuring appropriate responses to emergencies, and improved record keeping of training and maintenance, which is required of ocean going vessels in international service. Finally, on September 2nd of this year, the dive boat Conception caught fire and sank near Santa Cruz Island, California with the loss of 33 passengers and one crew member. Our investigators continue to gather information and review current regulations for vessels of this age, type, and operation, specifically regarding fire detection and alarm systems, evacuation routes, and crew training. The deadly loss of the conception just feet from shore should remind the small passenger vessel industry that the potential for catastrophe is always present. The loss of the Island Lady reminds us that an SMS and robust preventive maintenance systems are necessary to improve the safety of any marine enterprise. Our investigation findings and recommendations represent lessons learned at the highest price. Action on NTSB recommendations provides a return in lives saved, 
injuries prevented, and property loss and environmental damage avoided. Thank you for your time today. I would be pleased to take any questions you might have. Thank the gentlemen uh, for their statements. We will now proceed to members' questions. Uh